What's up, family? I'm excited. All right, here we go. This is part three, the uh, 10 core beliefs to high impact leadership. And uh, these beliefs are not for you. These beliefs are for them. And that's uh, the people that are following you, the people that uh, you're leading. So number three, uh, this is a belief uh, that you want them to take full ownership. That's number three. That is creating this belief uh, that you, their leader, want your people to take full ownership. And uh, a couple things that you can do to generate that belief that you want them to own it. That is, start using ownership terminology. And uh, one thing I'll tell you about uh, ownership terminology is it's not a team sport. And team sports are, it's us, it's them, it's we, it's they. There is no team in ownership. If you want someone on your team to believe that they have ownership, then you have to start using ownership terminology. And I'll give you some examples of that. So if you're talking about something that happened last week, that conversation conversation might go something like, you know, uh, hey James, what could you have done last week to achieve the goal that you set out to achieve? Or, hey Susie, what's something that you could have done differently? Or, hey Jane, when you think about uh, next week's contest, what's something that you are going to do to ensure that you hit the results that you want? As opposed to, hey, what's something that we could have done differently? What do you think we should do next week? Ownership is about making it personal. Ownership isn't necessarily about the team. Ownership is about an individual owning the result, owning the process, and being a uh, high impact. So start using ownership terminology in your conversations if you wanna create the belief uh, that you want your people to own it. That's part three. Uh, can't wait for part four coming out soon. Thanks, fam. Have a great rest of your day. Have an awesome week. See you, peeps.